You're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, produced by Shark Creative and made possible by our title sponsor, Entergy Indian Point Energy Center, supporting the community through the spring of 2021. Also, Hightower Westchester, Fiduciary Wealth Advisors, and White Plains Hospital. Thank you, everybody on the front line. Well, today we're putting a spotlight on business growth acceleration. Growth happens by design, not by accident. And we have the esteemed Ted Miller, who's currently the president of Dedekey Consulting, also at offices in Westchester, New York. He's been an executive for over 20 years, national and international management experience. He's held senior positions in engineering, marketing, operations, worldwide service, and strategic planning for Fortune 500 companies. Ted Miller holds a series of degrees now, bear with me here, MBA, Boston University, Bachelor of Science degree, Electrical Engineering, double major in economics from Tufts University. He's also the graduate of an intensive three-year total quality management program affiliated with the MIT Sloan School of Management, as well as numerous executive programs at Northwestern University, the Kellogg School of Management. He's also a board member of BCW and the Board of Trustees College of Westchester Charitable Foundation. Ted, it is really, I mean, it's a, it's, it's a pleasure and an honor to be with you today. And, uh, you know, you, you make me feel real small when I think about all these wonderful accolades and the places that you've been and everything else that you've done with your career. And of course, uh, the schooling. So you've worked really hard to get to where you are. Um, so, you know, kudos to you, but it's, it's great to have you here and it's, and it's an exciting program. Um, I would love to just dive right in with you, uh, and talk a little bit about what you have planned, uh, for the, for the foreseeable future. Um, so talk to us a little bit. Let's talk about what is the most common thing, Ted, that CEOs struggle with in business, uh, you know, that they oversee. Well, Andrew, thanks. And thanks so much. First, let me just give a shout out to, to you and to Shark Creative. Uh, you guys are awesome. And that, that intro, uh, I'm blushing. Uh, my mom uh, would be just so proud to, to have heard all that. So much appreciated. Uh, to your question about, you know, what are some of the uh, most common things that, that businesses and CEOs uh, face? It really depends uh, on their size and the nature of their business. But I'll, I'll do my best to kind of say in general. So smaller businesses, uh, you know, companies that are in startup mode or maybe fewer than five or 10 employees, less than a million or two in revenue, uh, their, their number one challenge usually is getting more business. And so they've got a lot of energy. They've got great products. They've got, um, you know, super ideas that they want to put out into the, into the marketplace, but they, but they need more, they need more, uh, they need more clients, more customers as, as the, uh, as the companies grow in size, it's kind of interesting that it, it all flips. <laughs> and at some point, they've got all the business coming in. I mean, you always need more business coming in, but they've got plenty of business coming in. And that's not really the bottleneck. The bottleneck becomes their uh, sort of what I call their operational uh, capability, their, their, uh, their ability to be able to produce uh, the products and services that they offer to the marketplaces and the, and the market segments that they target without diluting their brand. So that's kind of just a general, general overview. Great, great question. Uh, you know, and, and look, clearly uh, it's kept you very busy and people are learning from you as you go along. But, and I know over the years you, you've talked with me too about, it's not just about the goals or achieving the goals, right? It's about the processes that you have to put in place. And you're huge about process. I mean, if there's anybody who's, you know, putting processes together, it's Ted Miller. Um, Tell us a little bit about the process that that's involved with with your organization. Well, sure, sure. Thanks, thank you again. Uh, all that world for me, uh, it's called BPM, which is business process management. That that really came, as you mentioned, from that three year program that I was part of, uh, affiliated with the MIT Sloan School, and being part of a company uh, that grew from about a hundred million to four billion in size was just a remarkable uh, experience. But it was all about the process. And as you start to look at uh, companies and where their pinch points are, and uh, we call it scalability, the, the, you know, the ability for an organization to continue to grow uh, without diluting uh, their, their brand and, and uh, maintaining customer high degrees of customer satisfaction, it really is all about the process. And 
you know, we have uh, we have a lot of terms around here. One of one of them is if if you don't change the process, you're not going to change the results. And so, as companies grow, they really need to re-engineer and examine their key business processes. So, um, we've got something here at DataKey that we call the uh, the DataKey Value Creation System, and that value creation system is an overall uh, methodology and approach that we utilize to um, to help all our member companies uh, achieve their growth objectives. So uh, a lot of fun over here. I know you love to have fun, Ted, that's for sure. Uh, what about, you know, when talking about the CEOs, right? They, there's obstacles all the time. Can you talk to us about how they've overcome these obstacles and how you've helped them do that? Sure. So, you know, the first thing is um, their openness uh, to um, discovery and investigation of the types of obstacles that they're facing. And while one doesn't really want to admit it, it's true for most all of us that uh, it starts by looking in the mirror. And so, um, you know, businesses don't have bad people. They have bad uh, process and process is really owned by the CEO. And so once a, a company owner, a president, a uh, founder, once they acknowledge and sort of take ownership and accountability that it starts with them, uh, everything then opens up, all the, all the floodgates open up because when, once you're open to change and advancement and improvement, the sky, the sky is the limit. And so, you know, we're really fortunate uh, to be uh, involved and surrounded by so many companies that are doing tremendously well. And I'd say a common denominator or, or theme that threads across all of them is, is their openness to, um, to go invest further in their company and invest further in themselves. And um, that's the biggest obstacle. And so once, once they're over that obstacle, I'd like to say any problem can be solved. And so it's just a matter of, um, of, of, of putting thinking and, and energy and then resources and time into it. So probably have to get them to think about getting outside that comfort zone a little bit, right? We all get comfortable in our own skin and certain things, but you have to sort of push just slightly out of that, that area to, to experience the growth that's necessary. And it sounds like you're doing a lot of things to help people and CEOs uh, get to that next level. Um, let's talk about what the average growth of a company is after they apply Data Key's business accelerator methodologies. What could we, could we give some examples of how that's helped? Well, sure. Um, you know, the, the, the companies that are kind of in our, in our circles right now, uh, they're running anywhere from about 5 million to 75 million in sales, sort of that, that kind of level of company. Um, and I'll put an asterisk on 2020. I think we'd all like to do more than just put an asterisk on 2020. Uh, but, uh, uh, prior to that, uh, the companies that are kind of in our value creation system have a um, average CAGR, which is compound annual growth rate of close to 25%. It's really, it's absolutely extraordinary. So these are companies that are going from 5 million to 10 to 15 to 20 million in size just over a, a number of years. So, so they're growing very, very quickly. And they recognize in order to be able to scale that they've got to bring in good people and they've got to, um, you know, they've got to keep their product sharp and they've got to do strategic planning. And one of the things they enjoy most, I, 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 I know you mentioned it there, we run this uh, key advisors group and it's just an elite, uh, it's Top Gun really, it's just an elite group of CEOs that are selflessly sharing uh, best practices with one another. They don't compete. And so they're all trying to help one another. And I just, I just get to uh, facilitate that. Which is Tell us a little bit more about that. So you're, you're, you're facilitating that, uh, that organization or the, the, the accelerator group. Bring us, bring us into the room. Give us an example of, of what that's like. Um, so for our listeners that are tuning in, um, and, and by the way, is it open to other people? If people wanted to become a part of the accelerator group, is it invite only? How does that work, Ted? So uh, it is it is open, and thank you for that question. And and folks can go to our website, which is www.datakeyadvisors.com. So d a t a k e y advisors.com, and they can go uh, 
see an awful lot of what we do on there, the types of the approach we use, samples of companies that, that are growing and, and that type of thing. Um, and, uh, and sure, we're open to, uh, to others if they've, you know, they're running companies and they're, um, they've got the right mindset. It, the, the, um, it's interesting how many things come down to attributes, right? There, there's aptitude and attitude. And on the attitude side, it, it, you know, I'm, I'm blown away by the humility, by the competence and yet humility of, of so many of these great leaders. They're, they're, they're open to listening. And they're open to taking, it, it's an advisory board, it's a peer advisory board, which means, you know, you don't work for them, but you're taking some pretty, you know, tough input on the chin there. And then we hold everybody accountable to kind of, kind of move forward with that. So, um, so yes, it, it, it is open. So you asked me to kind of take you inside the room a little bit. So, uh, right now the room is virtual, uh, as most rooms are. Mm -hmm. And, and I think, uh, so we're running everything over uh, over Zoom, and and we meet once a month. Uh, and I and I had wondered whether or not we ought to dial back that frequency a little bit, but the CEO said, no, 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 we got to keep this going. So, uh, so for a while, we were actually even meeting more frequently than that. But it, but it's really settled at a nice rhythm about once a month, a couple hours, uh, and. We'll do different things. Often we'll take one or two of the CEOs in the group and they'll be the featured exec and I will work with them uh, offline ahead of time to kind of make sure we've got their right strategic challenge teed up in an effective way. And then you get a, a whole group of 12 to 15 other CEOs all examining your objectives and your challenges and working with you to help you overcome that. It's really extraordinary. I got actually got the great pleasure to do it myself once, <laughs> right? Where I got to climb into the ring and it's just, how, it's how comfortable so, was that? Well, it's, 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 uh, it's terrifying, right? But, <laughs> but in a good way, uh, you know, because you're getting pushed all your, all your primary assumptions that you've got um, get get challenged in a, in a very effective and good way. So everyone gets stretched. And uh, so that's what happens. We also bring in uh, outside guest speakers. Um, if I can do a shout out uh, to a couple of folks, Jim Giangrande uh, from Altium Wealth uh, came in and he was a guest speaker uh, maybe a month or two ago, just did a tremendous job. Uh, Don Zinn, um, who's just, if you don't know Don, he's just one of the best um uh, recruiters, you're going to find out there, executive recruiters, and, and he's just so knowledgeable about so many things. He, he always hits it out of the park and, uh, and others. So we'll bring in, uh, guest speakers as well as, uh, you know, CEOs in the group where we unpack them, uh, and their issues and, and, and then set them out the, the door with marching orders. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of exciting things going on, um, you know, working with over a thousand initiatives, hundreds of different companies, right? 95% re-engagement rate from what I understand, uh, you know, a growth accelerator firm is really what you are at Data Key Consulting. And Ted, uh, you know, you've got a lot to offer. There's a lot going on in that head. I know it. Um, and I'm glad that you're in a position to be able to share it with others and, and really help businesses grow. I mean, that at the end of the day, that is what you're doing. Uh, you know, bringing these CEOs together, collaborating, um, helping each other, poking and prodding. It's probably a little uncomfortable at times. I've been fortunate enough to be, you know, close to you in a, in a room where I've experienced some of your um, exercises, if you will. And it's not always comfortable. It's not always comfortable, but that's what you need to be able to do to, to grow. So, um, it is an absolute pleasure to, to spend this time with you. Uh, hopefully, some of our listeners will get a lot out of this today, and um, hopefully, there'll be more. So, you know, again, Ted, any, any parting words you want to leave with us before we part? Well, Andrew, thank you again so much, and uh, Shark Creative. Um, you know, I just would add one other thing. We've had uh, now a half dozen companies uh, successfully go through exits with their businesses, um, and so a number of, of the uh, the, the companies that are part of our organization have, they're on kind of the other side now. And so they're, they're now have gotten pulled up into uh, larger two, three, four, $500 million companies with private equity uh, backing and that type of thing. And they remain in the group, which is, uh, which is great. And I, I um, you know, an awful lot of what we do is confidential, so I can't say who who is uh, who I'm speaking about right now. But we're working with a, a company right now that has uh, honored us with the, um, 
with the task of of helping uh, sell their company. And so we're uh, doing all the due diligence right now, and the um, you know building the story and doing all the uh, the analytics uh, behind that to to get the best valuation they they possibly can. So just in parting, uh, big shout out to uh, to Shark Creative, and and thank you again, Andrew, so much. What what a pleasure being on your show. Well, thank you, Ted. Uh, again, it's a, it's my pleasure, truthfully. So you're listening to Westchester Talk Radio, which is produced by Shark Creative and made possible by Entergy Indian Point Energy Center. Uh, also, Michael Labriola, Landscape and Design. Make sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube under Shark Creative for more locally inspired stories and spotlights from our community, just like this one. Ted Miller, Data Key Consulting. It's a pleasure, and uh, we'll see you soon. Growth happens by design, not by accident.